All right then gang, so now we've used OpenAI to generate a video description and some video tags using chat completion. And we've also used it to generate an image for us based on a text description, which is cool. So now what I'd like to do is turn this node application that we've got into a bit of an API so that we can hit it from a front end web page in the browser. And to do that, we'll be using Express, which is a node package for creating APIs really easily. So in this lesson, we're not really gonna be doing much more with the whole AI side of things. We've already done that. And now we're just refactoring this code to make it into a workable backend service for a web page that we're gonna make. Now, if you know nothing about Express, then I've got a whole Node.js crash course on YouTube and on NetNinja Pro, which talks about Express a lot. So feel free to check that out if you wanna brush up your skills. But it's not completely essential because we are gonna keep this really simple. Just a couple of different endpoints for these different functions that we've got inside the controller file. All right, so first up, I'm gonna get rid of this read line stuff because we don't need that anymore. Now our input is not gonna be coming from the terminal. Instead, we're gonna be sending post requests to our Express API so we can extract that data from the post request and use that in the functions instead. Again, we don't need these questions down here either. We are still gonna import these things because we'll need those functions when we're creating Express routes. All right, the next thing we want to do is install the Express package. So let me cancel out this process. I'm gonna clear here as well and then say npm install express like so. And now that's installed, we can create the express application. So I'm gonna run through this pretty quickly because I don't want this to be really an express uh, tutorial. So I'm gonna say const express is equal to require the express package we just installed. And then we can set up our express app. So app set up by saying const app is equal to express and then invoking that. All right, so that creates the express app. Then we wanna to listen to a port number so we can view it in a browser and send requests to it. So we'll say app.listen to do that, passing the port number, which is gonna be 4,000. Then when it's doing that, we can fire a function to say we're listening to requests. And all it's gonna do is log a message to the console to say that. So listening to or for requests on port 4000. All right, so now we have the app up and running. Next, what I'd like to do is use a little bit of middleware and we'll do a comment to say middleware right here. And this middleware is gonna allow us to extract JSON data from post requests. So we say app.use to do that. And we say express.json and invoke that function. So when we're sending a post request from a front end or the client, we're gonna send data, JSON data, on the body of that request. Now, if we didn't use that, we wouldn't be able to easily extract that body data and pass it so we can use it inside our different route handlers, but this allows us to easily do that. Okay, so now we have that, we can create the routes, so a comment for routes as well, and we'll say app, and then we could use a get request for certain things. We're using post requests because we want to send data with the request. The data is gonna be either the video title or the description of the image. So we're gonna handle these post requests. Now we need routes for them. So I'm gonna say the route will be open AI and then forward slash meta to fire the meta function, which is this top one up here, generate meta. And by the way, this can be whatever you want. This just makes sense to me. So when we send a post request to this, we fire a function and that's gonna be the generate meta function. And then I'm gonna duplicate that and change meta to image. And then this is gonna be generate image instead. So the other function. All right, so that's pretty much all we have to do right here. So when we send a post request to this URL, we're gonna fire this function. When we send a post request to this one, we're gonna fire this function. Now these functions accept two arguments, a request object with information about the request and a response object, which we use to send a response back to the clients. So we can accept both of those arguments inside both of those functions. Now remember, we no longer have access to this title directly because that came from the interface when we typed into the terminal. Instead, we're gonna extract it from the request object. So we say request and response, and then inside here, we can extract the data from it. So I can say const title, and we're destructuring here, is equal to request.body. And again, the reason we can do this is because we used this middleware right here. If you didn't do this, you can't do this. 
Okay, so now we have this title and we're just outputting it right here. So we don't need to change that. And also right here, cool. The only thing we need to change is instead of logging things to the console, we need to send a response. So let me get rid of that and also get rid of that. We're gonna wait until both of these are complete and then send a response. So we can say response.status first of all, and set it to 200 to mean everything's okay. Then we're gonna send back some JSON data. So inside this object, we're gonna have two properties, the description, and I shouldn't have deleted those console logs because it had how we gathered the data from the responses, but I will try and guess this. Description, I think it was dot data, and then dot choices, and then the first one, and then for the description, it was dot message. So we're sending that back as the description property in the JSON. And then also the tags, this was slightly different. So tags dot data, was it tags dot data dot choices? Oh no, it wasn't different, was it? Because we're using the same thing. The image thing was different. Yeah, so choices zero and then dot message. All right, I think that's right. We'll find out soon enough. So we're sending that JSON back to the clients. Now we can come down here again for the image generation. We take in the request and the response. And then the prompt right here is going to be request.body.prompt. So we'll send a value of prompt when we make the post request. And we're just putting it right here. The reason I did it up here and destructured it is because it was easier to do that way because we're using it in two different places. So I didn't have to write it out like this twice, but right here it's just once. So that's okay. All right, so lesson learned. I'm gonna copy this this time, then delete it. And then I'm gonna say response.json and we're gonna send back a URL property which is what I just copied, this thing right here, the URL. Awesome. So I think that's it, my friend. We have created our Express API. We have these two routes, and now hopefully it's gonna fire those functions and send responses to the clients when we visit those routes, or when we send post requests to those routes. So now let's try these out in Postman. So to try these endpoints out, we're gonna use Postman, which allows us to send all different types of requests to an API and see the JSON responses. And we're doing this because we don't yet have a front end. And I just wanna check that everything's working as it should do before we build that front end. So if you've not got Postman, you can download it for free at postman.com. But anyway, I've already prepped a couple of requests that we can try out. So let's give this a whirl. So the first one I've got is a post request to localhost port 4000 forward slash openai forward slash meta. So this is to get back the video description and video tags. Now we need to send a body with this request. So go to body, then raw, and then JSON data and send a JSON object. We need that title property because this is how we're prompting openai to generate the description and tags. In our case, that's learn how to code like a ninja. So I'm gonna send that hopefully after a few seconds, we're gonna get a response with that description property and also the tags property as well with the tags. All right, cool, and there it is. So let me just scoot this up a little bit. We can see we get the description with the role and content. And then down here, we also get tags with the role and the content, which is all the tags. So that's working, cool. Now let's try the other request, which is for the image. Again, a post request, going to localhost port 4000, forward slash open AI, forward slash image this time. Again, body, raw, and JSON. Send a JSON object, this time with a prompt property. And this is the description of the image that I want. A ninja playing tennis on a beach. Let's see how good this is. All right, there we go. So we get this URL property back. So I'm gonna open this up. In fact, that's not worked. So let me just copy all of that. And I'm gonna open it up in a browser. And I think you're gonna be really impressed with this. What an awesome image, cool. So there you have it, my friends. Now we've created this Express app. So we have this API that we can now hit from the front end. And that's what we're gonna do in the next lesson. We're gonna create the front end website and we're gonna send requests to our API so we can grab that data and show it in a web page.